Ding. Hello, hello, hello. So today we're going to go through a little machine that I've built where we essentially can upload all the URLs uh, that we have indexed on our website and we will re-optimize those posts in bulk um, and we will feed the AI uh, all of the keywords that the post is already ranking for and we will write a new more optimized title because that's a very keyword heavy place to put a keyword in. Uh, we will rewrite the meta description to better match the search intent. We'll add an FAQ that will take all of the keywords that it's ranking for into consideration. And we will also add like a little uh, piece in the beginning of the post uh, because that's a place where you want to have those keywords in. And to be honest with you, I was like, should I even share this machine? Because it's worked so well and I kind of feel like I'm giving away the golden goose here but I haven't seen anyone else built it and I just enjoy um, sharing whatever we build but we've tried this on pretty much like uh, 20 sites and uh, there's not a single site of the, uh, those sites that the traffic hasn't uh, increased and the amount of keywords that it's ranking for, if you like measure in href, it's going pretty much vertical and adding hundreds of uh, keywords, which is already good for domain rating and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a good way because uh, like when you start uh, a blog and you create uh, lots of content, pretty soon you'll have like, um, hundreds of sites or hundreds of pages, hundreds of posts. And I don't know, why just keep on doing new posts when you can optimize the old ones? So that's, that's the machine I'll show you today. Uh, all right, and here it is, voila. Uh, so I'll show this for a Swedish site called Growth Gurun, which is like a marketing niched site where we um, do a lot of marketing news and stuff like this in the growth uh, uh, niche. So let me maybe first show you the results. Um, let's just show which site we're going to optimize and then All right, so here's the first site in the list uh, that will come up and we'll just do this on white one site so you'll see the results. This site is in Swedish, so I'm sorry, you won't have, you, you probably won't understand if it's a good result or not, but I ensure you that it works data-drivenly. Uh, so here's the site where, uh, or here's the page where it's like some tips for influencer marketing on Instagram, a few strategies for success. And as you can see, it has no FAQ. Um, and yeah, it looks like this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this page in and we're going to send the URL over to Google Search Console. After that, we'll fetch all of the words that it's currently exposing, uh, like gathering exposures for. Um, and some of those words will be like on page 67 or like really far out. And we want to include these words into the post in strategic ways where we will increase the position of those words. Um, so to do this, uh, we will, um, I can go through the steps uh, and then we'll do it for this post and you'll see the result. Uh, so the first step we have here is basically a Google Sheet. And uh, this is because I wanna know which posts have been rewritten and which ones have not been rewritten. You can actually start this from the Search Console level if you just wanna do all of them. Uh, but here I wanna kind of do a little bit of uh, uh, only pick certain ones and so. So uh, what do we have here? Well, uh, we have a few filters. So from the first, uh, Search Console data, uh, you'll export the file 
uh, and then you'll uh, put them in a Google Sheet and you'll pretty much have impressions, clicks and exposures uh, for pages. So that's the data you want to put in there and then you'll have these headers here. Uh, and for a filter we want to press um, for clicks and this is the way we choose which post to rewrite because uh, in the beginning when I did this especially I didn't want to uh, rewrite the posts that were already doing really well so we only picked the ones that had less than 20 clicks and this one is important. We need over 50 impressions because if the post doesn't have over 50 impressions, uh, there won't be that many keywords it's like exposing to. So if you don't have any keywords, then you don't know what to rewrite it and optimize it for. So we put a minimum of uh, impressions. And so clicks, um, clicks needs to be less than just choose it here, 20 impressions greater than 50. And then we have another one which is called generated. And this is just uh, showing if it's generated or not, like if it's uh, optimized already or not. And this one needs to not exist. If it is, it will uh, exist. So that's all. And you can do this for like put a trigger on every day for like 10 posts a day if you don't want to spook out Google and uh, optimize all of them at the same time. Uh, right now we're just going to do a limit of one because we're going to show it. Okay, the next step is Google Search Console. Uh, here uh, you need to connect your account to Google Search Console. You'll add the site uh, URL here pick which one and over here you'll have the um, the date like you need for the search console API you need which dates you uh, need to pick out the data from so we'll have the start date here and the end date here and what these little formulas are doing is that it's just uh, saying the date now minus 120 days and you need to format it in this response because Google Search Console needs a certain uh, format to do this. And then on the end date we will have now and that is today formatted in this uh, date. Uh, and then we're having a few filters uh, so adding a, a filter group for dimensions and we want to add, so what we're choosing here is which page do we want? We want pages that has, that contains only this URL. And this is the, um, from the Google Search Console data, you'll have one uh, column with only the, um, uh, the URL and then it will fetch the data from that URL. What are we fetching? We're fetching queries. All right. So for that page, we need all of the questions that it's uh, ranking for. And that's all. I've put a limit on 50 here. You can probably put it higher, but I think that if it's like has 150 words, then it might write super much and stuff like that. So, all right. Then what we need to do is we need to aggregate these results uh, because we wanna um, we wanna load them in as a big big chunk. So that's what we're doing here. And over here we're setting a parameter and we're using the map function. So we're feeding in the array from uh, the array aggregator, and we are mapping only the query ones. And how do you know which ones that is? Uh, I can show you that later. But anyway, this is how you map it. You'll doing the, you, you will do the whole URL, uh, the array that you want to uh, map out. And then here you'll put the uh, raw name of that uh, yeah, thing. So, and that's called query in um, Search Console. We do that once per cycle and after that, we can uh, search for that URL. 
So uh, now we have fetched the URL, we have fetched all the questions that it's ranking for. Now we need the ID because we need to know which ID, uh, which post are we going to rewrite. And the way we do that is we are searching for published posts in inleg, <laughs> uh, in whatever folder you have them in your CMS in WordPress in this case. And uh, we're choosing to search by slug here. So everything that matches the slug of the uh, URL. And this little formula, all it's doing is just that it's uh, splitting the... So we're feeding in the URL, the full URL, but we only need the slug. So we're feeding in the slug uh, or the URL. We're splitting it by this delimiter here, the slash. So everything after slash uh, will be the, um, uh, the slug, right? And then uh, we are picking the last part of that um, so of that um, URL and that will be the slug okay uh, so that's what's happening there uh, and after this we're fetching because we're gonna get an ID when we've searched for the slug we're going to get an ID for that post uh, and we're going to be able to get the content uh, it's actually giving us everything right now so uh, now we're getting the content uh, from that post, that is the post body. Uh, and since we want to inject a little part just below the h1 tag, uh, we need to split them before. And that's what we're doing here. So we're feeding in the content, the content will have an h1, and we're splitting it by the delimiter of the closing h1 tag. So the h1 will be one part and then the body will be another part. That's what's happening here. Uh, and then we're using the content here and we're telling it that I'm probably gonna give this blueprint at some point in a week or so. I'll just need to like translate all the prompts and stuff, but uh, have a look in the description. I might just upload it today. Uh, Anyway, so uh, right here, we're, we're telling it, here's the post and we're loading the content and we're saying, just write an FAQ section for this and um, uh, only answer with the FAQ section. And you need to take into account all of these words from uh, Search Console. And then we're loading in the words that we previously fetched. So then it knows, all right, what are people asking in relation to this post? The next one will be, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's just that we are, um, uh, let's see, this one is, yeah, this one is writing the part uh, below the H1 tag. It's going to be a part in the beginning of the blog post, which is like introductory and stuff like this. But in the beginning of a blog post, the keywords have a lot of weight. So we want to pack this part with a lot of keywords. And we're doing the same thing here. Here's the content. You'll add the part after the H1. And here is the words you need to include. Uh, and then we're having this part uh, and this uh, probably the title, right? Uh, yeah, we're loading in the previous title. And we're saying, here are the words that it's rank for, ranking for again. Uh, here's the content. Write a new title that will better match the search, uh, like the search intent of people like surfing around on Google. Uh, that won't shock them in a way, you know, like you, some people write really clickbaity ones, but then you have a high bounce rate. So it's uh, degrading the quality anyway. And it's really important to first include heavy keywords in the title. It's like three ways you want to put keywords. It's the URL, it's the title, and it's the H1. Here, we're putting them in the title, but we're also asking it to match the expectations with the user. And then we have this one, which is to just uh, write an, um, a meta description, which is also matching the expectations. And that's it. Now we have all of the optimized content. 
we need to upload it. So what we've done here is we've added a module which is update current post. And since we got the ID from over here before, we can match that here. That's the post we're updating and over here we are uh, loading all the different stuff. So we have a new title. We've already um, written that one. Uh, and then we have the old post. Remember that we needed to split it because we can't just feed in new content uh, above the H1 uh, because then it's the post's gonna begin and then the post begins again. So we want to inject the content and uh, between these two. And uh, so we split it and then I'm feeding it this variable that we set before uh, and here we're just indexing different parts of it so uh, yeah here's the first part it will be the h1 but remember we used the h1 closing tag as the deliminator which means it's now going to be removed so we need to add it again okay uh, so we add that and now we're gonna have a full h1 tag here again we're injecting the answer from the part in the beginning uh, so this is going to be new content injected into the post and then we're putting the old post back. And after that we're adding the FAQ that it wrote. Uh, we're keeping everything else the same and we're updating the meta description. That's it. So. You can do this um, just by having search consoles as the trigger, but this is the reason why I want to do it this way. Because I want to really know which posts have been re-optimized and not, so I can backtrack and know which URLs um, it worked on and stuff. And uh, here I've just put like the value like uh, true if it is uh, optimized. And I'm going to change this right now and we're going to use the now because instead of true we can just say here's the date it was re-optimized so we can backtrack it even better. Uh, and then we have, for, it's, it's a really good thing to have all the keywords that your that search console uh, ranks your post for. You can look that up in search console as well but they don't have a view where you can just have the overview of all of the URLs and just scroll through them easily. You need to like click into every URL and stuff. Uh, and then I've started like doing um, the input and output tokens. Um, this one is not finished, but I'm pretty much building a thing where we calculate all of the input and output tokens so we can see what the cost is and everything for that. Okay. That's it. Shall we try it out? Shall we? We shall. All right. Let's go. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, it's good to see that the post actually um, exists. So, um, yeah, sometimes you have um, URLs that are not in the file that you're searching for. So here I've just put a filter that only continue if the number of bundles uh, of posts are greater than or equal to zero. So uh, that's it. Okay, now we'll try it. Doom. So as you can see here, we're fetching this URL from what we did before. And here we're getting all of the different like bundles and you'll see um, all of the search queries that this uh, post ranks for. We'll then aggregate it into this big array here. And what this does is that we can now uh, map all of them into one big single list of words. And that's what we're doing here. So once we have a big list uh, of words, then uh, we go ahead and we search for the slug. Remember we divided it and only got the slug. And then we get the 
uh, post ID, we get the um, content from it and everything like this. And now we have the content. So what are we doing here? Well, we need to split it. So here we split the H1 and the actual body of the post. And what are we doing here? Well, we're just feeding this in uh, like we showed before. It's writing the, um, the FAQ, the new content that are going to go in between the H1, uh, the title, the meta description. You could have done this in one module uh, and then used JSON parser to uh, divide them, but I found that um, it lags pretty much uh, when you do when you try to do it in HTML and stuff like this. So I've done four different ones here. So and then we have the post and it updated it like this and now we're going to see the result so okay we still have the old one here as you can see here it is and here's the new one it has added a bunch of new content here and I've asked it to actually include it into the um, h2s because that's where the keywords uh, weigh a lot um, Let's see here, and we have now um, a long FAQ. <laughs> this one was way too long, <laughs> but it added a, an FAQ and it's pretty much um, only answering on all the queries that um, people ask for it. Let's see the um, let's see the title. The old one uh, was this one, and yeah, it's changed it slightly, um, and I guess re-optimized it. Uh, so it's changed anyway. And the same thing if we were to search for description this one has a description i think this one won't because yeah see it just has the og description so this one actually doesn't have a meta uh, description and i added one so uh it's going to be way more optimized okay so this is it and like i said if you want to use this on bulk you can pretty much do like the safest thing is what I did in the beginning was just to, we had like hundreds of posts that had over 200 exposures, but um, didn't have any clicks yet or had only one click. Uh, so the first thing I tried it on is to just do everything that doesn't have any clicks because um, a slight change in titles and stuff can just make it jump. And that's what it did. And uh, Maybe I should show you that now, but no, I don't have time. What we saw was those URLs, it was like a hundred URLs, and it was just a flat line uh, of no clicks. And uh, two days after we did this rewrite on these hundred URLs, it just jumped. Like they all started getting clicks. So uh, if not anything else, it's really good to optimize articles that aren't performing at all. Um, all right, that's it. Uh, I'll try to upload the updated blueprint and everything with new prompts in English as soon as I can, but it might take time. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.